एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर टू ऑब्जेक्टिव स्टडी द करेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ एन एक्सेप्टर सर्किट एंड डिटर्मिन दोन इंडक्टेंस ऑपरेटर्स रजिस्टर कैपेसिटर इंडक्टर फ्रीक्वेंसी जनरेटर ऑस्लोस्कोप कनेक्टिंग वायर्स एंड ए सी सप्लाई थ्यूरी एक्सेप्टर सर्किट when the resistor inductor and capacitor are connected in series with a source of electromotive force the circuit is known as rlc series or series resonant or series tuned circuit the total opposition offered by the rlc circuit in flow of current is called impedance it depends on the frequency of ac signal and given by z is equal to under root r square plus xl minus c whole square Where x l is equal to omega l and x c is equal to one upon omega c, our resistances offered by inductor and capacitor respectively are called reactance of inductor and reactance of capacitor. Where omega is equal to two pi f, where f is the frequency. In case of resonance, when x l is equal to x c or omega l is equal to one upon omega c. the particular frequency is called the resonant frequency at this frequency the resistance of circuit for the ac signal is the having the minimum impedance where xl and xc cancel out each other and the square root of r cancel with the square of r so z is only equal to r and at this frequency the current is maximum as compared to other frequencies which have the larger impedance than this particular signal procedure okay this is the experimental setup of acceptor circuit here you can see this one is the frequency generator from which we apply frequency the range of frequency is 1 kilohertz here This one is cathode ray oscilloscope. Um, on this screen, we can see the amplitude of our applied frequency. Here is the breadboard on which our components has been placed. This one is capacitor. This one is inductor, and here it is resistor. All of these components are the passive components. Now, what we have to do? we have to apply the frequency from frequency generator and see the amplitude here as you can see uh, here the vertical line has been seen okay as i discussed earlier the acceptor circuit accepts the resonant frequency uh, that's why uh, the maximum current flows on the resonant frequency and uh, the amplitude is high as i increase the frequency the amplitude as you can see the amplitude is also increasing and at a particular point it starts decreasing here it is okay the point at which the amplitude starts decreasing is the resonant frequency and again you have to complete the readings tell your 100 kilohertz frequency okay let's see frequency from here and note down the amplitude let's say on 10 kilohertz we have amplitude of we have amplitude 6 one square box have five divisions uh, you can see the vertical line and on 10 kilohertz we have amplitude 6 Now on 15 kilohertz, the amplitude is increased, and now it is around 8. That's how you will take the readings and continue the procedure. Observations. We will get a table like this. 
the amplitude versus frequency where the capacitance of the capacitor is constant 0.001 microfarad graphs and calculations then you have to plot the graph between the frequencies and amplitude the graph will have a shape like this and you will find the resonant frequency which is the frequency with maximum amplitude and then you will substitute the value of frequency and capacitance in the formula to find the unknown inductance and the original formula 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon 2 by under root lc and then you will rearrange the formula for the inductance and by putting the value of resonant frequency f and capacitance you can find the inductance and its unit will be in Hindi. Thank you very much. Please subscribe, like and share.